I learned that some people like to put um, plastic bags, but I usually use foil. But today I will be using a plastic bag because I can't find any foil. Look, I know I went shopping, I did a coupon and deal with foil and I can't find any foil. I don't know what that's about, but... Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Anyway, kids are making breakfast. Yeah, the kids are making breakfast. I guess my friends will be here shortly. I'm going to teach them how to um, manage their money. Um, each person will be each person will be um, getting uh, like a little booklet, and they're going to write down all of their bills for 2016. And then we're just going to revisit how to redo our um finances for 2017 like just to prepare ourselves i don't know why paris does this but she will go to her um her pan her bowl and she would eat she would pick up the food the dog food out of it and then walk over here to the carpet and eat it on the carpet which is weird so i don't know what that's about but like I was telling you guys earlier, 2016 is going to be an awesome year. I am very excited. Are you excited? I know that I um, want to review some things in 2016 that I haven't realized um, haven't realized has happened. I mean, deaths. Everybody know, you know, deaths are all around us. Everybody's dying. I mean, somebody's dying every single day. There's not a day where somebody don't die. So, um, I want to thank God for protecting me and covering me and covering my family from death. You know, um, the death coat came through and the death coat swept the end of, uh, end of, um, 2006. So, I know I have some names. I was just like, whoa, I didn't realize they died. So... A few people that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, Shaja Gabor, I didn't even realize she died. Um, Muhammad Ali, he was like the greatest of all time boxer, boxing legend. Um, sad that he died. Um, I'm trying to fix my hair, y'all, because I know I look crazy. Um, Ricky Harris, he just recently died at the end of December, and Ricky Harris was the guy that played on Everybody Hates Chris, and he was the one, like, the little hustler guy that was always on the stoop. Like, he was very, very funny. And he was, um, Tadal, um, if anybody remembers Snoop Dogg and his series, The Dog Pound, um, I forgot which album it was, but he was always like, this is your homie Snoop, no, this is your homie Tadal, like, it was the intro of every, like, song. Well, he died, too. Um, who else died? Uh, Prince. Prince died, and that was, we didn't see that coming at all. Um, Tommy Ford. Oh, my God. Tommy. Everybody loves Tommy Ford from Martin, and he died as well, and that sucks. Like, bruh, I didn't see that coming either. Um, Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher, they died, like, days ago. Um, who else died? George Michael recently died. Like these people, I can just recently, I can think of that have recently died. Um, Radio Raheem died, y'all. So, you know, death has no color, no age, no time. It just show up and it just take. So um, we have to realize that God ain't playing with us. God ain't playing with nobody. You know, God is coming to get His people, or judgment, I should say, is coming to get. Um, coming to get people in. If y'all not ready, y'all not right, y'all gotta get right, man. 2017, ain't no games, ain't no games being played in 2017, y'all. 2016 was a hard year for me. Hard year, an eye-opening year, but it was an awesome year at the same time. I mean, I've had um, a miscarriage. I've had, um, I had to walk away from people. I had to walk away from, you know, important people in my life because they were just so so negative and so full of lies and just deceit and uh, you know and then like, on the other side of it God has promised me um you know that I can get a car and I was able to walk on a 
on a car lot and just get my car. Like, God is amazing. Like, you say I could just go get my car like that, Jesus? And I did. I said, I walked on that car lot, and I said, God, you promised me this. When I get to this car lot, whatever I want on here, I can have. And that's exactly what happened. Kenya, you can get a plate and put it on there. Take it off. Okay. I need a plate. <laughs> Okay, so why are you telling me you need to play? You know what to play, huh? All right, so back to what I was saying. Um, Diana, the pancakes should be getting ready to make. Go ahead and start making the pancakes. Um, also, um, uh, what else happened? I was able to go and just walk out a lot and just get my car. Um, and it was just so rewarding to say hey god don't forget you promised me that i can walk on this lot and i can have whatever i want and not even two hours later y'all i was driving off with my 2016 brand new 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 okay so i am thanking god for that um and now it's 2017 and i'm like oh no i think i'm ready to change that car and get me another new new you know 2017 um also what else happened this year um I moved out of my old house. I moved out. Um, I mean, I had to go. It was a situation where I could no longer be in that space, in that place. So I had to leave. I had to leave. And God promised me that everything that I asked for, everything that I've been asking for for years, shall come to pass. And 2016 was the year. I mean, it was painful to see what it was that I had to get through. I had to see and it had to be exposed to me. But, um, and I knew deep down inside, I knew, I knew, I knew, and it was just like, you didn't want to know, you know, like, you know, but you just don't want to like really listen. Like God is telling you, Hey, I've been trying to tell you for years. That ain't it. This ain't it. You ain't. And I always said to myself, God, this can't be everything. Like this can't be my life. Like I can't just be, this is not it. This got, it's gotta be more to this. There has got to be more than this so yeah i just packed up my stuff and left and i'm thanking god because now i was able to you know four or five months later i was able to walk into what god has promised me god has promised me this house and i was able to just move in and be happy god has promised me peace which i have already already had i just had to activate the peace within and the patience within my mind is always clouded with foolishness and craziness and god said come to me and i'm gonna give you peace when i say god has given me peace y'all i haven't had to argue with anybody i haven't had to snap on anybody i haven't had to feel so like irritated, like I just feel at peace. Like I'm so happy, I'm so happy. And it's just like, I'm just trying to make my house a home. I mean, um, I'm just trying to make it what God wanted for me and God knows the desires of my heart and he knows that I love fancy things and nice things. So he has provided for me that, he's provided me, provided for me, um, those things, though the things that I like, he say, okay, I provide for you, daughter. Go ahead, I give, I make provision for you because you, you are true to me. You are a true worshiper. You are a true believer. Like you believe that I am here, and I thank God because I, I, I built this relationship with Him, to where. I really truly know that he's real. Like God is real, y'all. If y'all like I don't see how people do not believe God is real. And the devil is real. The devil is real, my God. Y'all when I say the devil is real. The devil will give you so much to attack your mind. He will continue to attack your mind. He will make you doubt God. He will make you not trust God. He will make you think that God isn't real. Like God isn't listening to you. God is he doesn't hear you. But I hear you too, devil. I hear you in my ear. But God said, listen to me, only me. Listen to me and I will direct your path. So I'm like thanking God. Like, yes, God. I I I I know I hear you. I hear you clearly. And I wanna just follow you and follow the way you want me to go. But that mind, that mind shift, like one little thing can throw your mind and the devil keep throwing little, little, little things, little foxes and it all builds up to where you just totally doubt God and then you backslide or not believe that God is there for you, not believe that, you know, 
there can be more, you know. Then you start doubting, oh, my God, what did I do? Oh, my God, why did I leave? Why did I change my mind? Why did I get out of the situation I was in? And then you have to realize, hey, 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 come back, come back, come back. Focus. God said, you can do all things through me. So, trust me trust me trust me i got you i got you i'm carrying you through all of this i'm carrying you through all of this so you gotta i had to believe it guys i had to believe it and god has been blowing my mind god has been blowing my mind and i know 2017 is gonna be another mind blowing oh my god i just i just want to come in here and tell you guys that you know trust god trust god all i have now is just me and my daughter it's just me and my daughter, y'all, and y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. I mean, I put post some vlogs and videos, but I haven't been consistent like I was. Um, like I said, I've had a miscarriage, and it was God's sovereignty that that happened. And I, I mean, December just passed, and I was supposed to have that child in December. And I had to think to myself, what situation would I have been bringing a, a new child? Like, you know, what kind of mess what a new child be going through how fair is that for a new child to see um you know where an, an, an unhealthy relationship how fair is it for a child to not get what they deserve you know and whatever god god already know who he, what child he's going to send to me because god already knew you before you were formed in the womb so knew me before i was formed in the womb so he already know my child already that he wants to send to me but he's not going to send to send a child to me any in any circumstance I, I he know my heart like i said and he know that i want a child another child for my daughter but he's not just going to send a child to me under any circumstances and make me feel like i'm struggling and i mean there's going to be times where it's going to be a process and pain and all that through situ different situ situations oh I can't talk but God would not allow me to be in a situation with a child and another child and I'm going through by myself like that ain't that ain't what he got for me that is not his pleasure for me that is not pleasing to him for me for my life you know um so I have to be patient, I have to be patient, I have to be patient. And in my patient time, in my time of waiting, I am getting, oh my God, the mosquitoes. When I say the mosquitoes are coming out of nowhere, and we don't have, I, I have no repellent. Like, my only repellent is Jesus, really, truly, honestly. Um, the mosquitoes are just coming out of everyone and they're just telling me a bunch of whatever. And they're not just like, oh, but you do those kudobos, I don't want you, bro. I don't. I don't, mm, there's something about that that I don't like, and I've already been there, seen that, and no, I don't want it. I, I'll pass and wait for a new whatever God has made for me. Somebody um, inboxed me and just randomly said, um, your husband is going to be a preacher, and I'm just like, who me and then they came to me um inboxed me today and said good morning first lady and i'm just like what who are you talking to i don't even receive what you're saying what you talking about me a first lady of who of a church like what bruh come again come again come again tomorrow come again in a few more months i i, I don't hear what you're saying right now because i can't i can't <laughs> i can't I, i'm not at a place to receive that type of information so um when god want to release something to me i have to listen i mean take heed to it but i gotta like take it with a grain of salt like what is that about like who are you sending to me god to tell me this kind of stuff <sighs> i know i just talked y'all ear off for like 15 minutes but I wanted y'all to know that God is good da, 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 all the time. It is the new year. Um, deaths come. Births happen. People are happy. People are sad. People are fighting. People are having a great time. I mean, but if you don't seek God through it all, it is not even, there's no pleasure out of it. There's no, I mean, it's physical, fleshy pleasure, and that's also something I've been fighting with. But at the end of the day after the flesh is pleased then it's like now what <sighs> now what now what I mean alright my flesh was pleased for five minutes and now I actually have to sit and talk to you or I, have to, I actually have to sit and 
revisit what I've done with my flesh over and over because the devil will make you do something so abnormal and then he will make you feel guilty about it he will make you feel guilty about it for weeks like it'll just come back into your mind and say dang i can't believe i did that wow i did that with that person wow i did that with her like wow like why why so the devil will make you do something and then torment you with that thing that you've done so please 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 take heed in 2017 i'm talking to myself y'all i'm talking about me i am talking about me the devil will bring it to your mind and make you be a slave to that sin that you committed. Like, you know, and God says, cast my cares, cast your cares upon him. Um, your sins are forgiven and forgotten. Like, you know, like repent, 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 repent. Repent, 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 repent. That's the word of the new year. Repent. Please ask God for forgiveness for your sin. Please ask God for a change. Please ask God to remove that thing that he don't like that you keep holding on to. Please ask God. Please, please, please ask God to forgive you, to make your heart of stone into a heart of flesh. God knows. God knows your heart. And he just wants true, true faith with people that will follow him and him alone. No wavering people. Y'all don't understand. No more lukewarmness. I mean, God wants you, you know? God want me. And I still don't know my calling. And my friend, she kind of gave me an insight. And I was like, um, I don't even see myself doing that. Like, what are you talking about? I don't do that. And then I had to think about it. I'm like, but I encourage people. I encourage people a lot. And I really realizing that that's me. That's my normal, that I normally do that. I normally just encourage people. So that made me think, hmm. And, you know, I just pray that God gives me more. God grants me more. God activate more gifts that I carry that he given that he has given me. And I just want to say glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God for everything that he has already given me. Everything that he's placed in me to give unto his people. I will do wholeheartedly. I pray that the fights and attacks, I mean I know it's coming but I'll counsel them right now in Jesus name. I do not want to fight. I do not want to fight. I just want to start the new year with a smooth smooth, smooth sailing but it don't work like that with Jesus. It don't work like that with God. Oh, my God. Ah, so I have to play, put my um, armor on, my helmet, my breastplate. Oh, my God. The sword is the word. I have to, have to, have to be prepared because this ain't no joke. This ain't no joke. This ain't no joke. And I find myself even cursing like a few times I said out of my mouth something that is not pleasing. Like, I used to curse like a sailor. sailor. If y'all know me, the old army, army would cuss and cuss and will cuss you out. And will cuss you out and dare you to come to me and say what I said. Or try me or say what somebody else said about me and then don't come to me and tell me what they said so I can go and check that person. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand. So, I know the fight that I've been getting. The devil has been bringing it to me to where I get so mad to where I'm like saying something profane. And I pray to God that, I, that I, I ask God to remove it from me, remove it from my mouth, remove it from my vocabulary. That is not what I want to do. That's not what I want my daughter to hear. It's not professional. It doesn't look good. You know, you at a professional setting and you talk about S and F and these dumb F. Like, that don't look good. How are you supposed to be edifying, you know, the people and being edified yourself, but then you come up girl man let me get off this thing y'all i thank y'all for watching right now um it's new year's like i said happy new year happy new year happy new year <sighs> happy new year um i probably vlog with my friends being taught how to um budget but other than that i pray you guys have an awesome year thank you for watching i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys um Y'all have a good day. I mean, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. I want to talk about being petty, but I'll use that in another vlog. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Wow. You make that bigger. My baby is making. What is Kenya doing? Itchy. I'm itchy. That looks good.